Solemnity from Hour of Devastation remains one of the most unique combo cards ever created. Players can't get counters, and counters can't be placed on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. This has a soft lock with the card Phyrexian Unlife, but what I like even more is its interaction with the two abilities Persist and Undying. We have a ton of cards that can be absolutely abused, like Micaeus the Unhallowed, which will give your other non-human creatures Undying that you can sacrifice infinitely since they won't be coming back with plus and plus one counters. We have other great Persist and Undying creatures like River Kelpie, sacrifice this over and over to get as much card draw as you can handle, Flayer of the Hatebound to deal as much damage as you feel like, Kitchen Finks to gain as much life as possible, Garolf's Messenger to also drain them of life, and it doesn't even stop there, Chronozoa can get you infinite creature tokens because the tokens that enter as copies of it will not be entering with those time counters, and the creatures that you bring back with Luminous Broodmoth will not be returning with those flying counters. Just a lot of interactions here within and outside of white, one of the most incredible cards ever created.